Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm so excited to share this project with you today. This is a baby album that I worked really hard on, and I absolutely love the results of it. Um, I also want to let you know that all the flowers that I use in this project will be listed in the description box below, along with a link to Wild Orchid Crafts. So I hope you stop by their website and check it out. They have amazing products. I'm a huge fan of Wild, Wild Orchid Crafts. So first, if I can zoom in here, I want to show you what my inspiration was. This was a custom ordered album. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I'm also going to put a picture up it, of it um, on the screen here in a minute, but this is, here we go, this is what I was given showing that she wanted the album to, um, for inspiration for the album, because she's giving this as a gift for a lady, and she wants it to be a one-year album for the baby, so it follows the baby's first 12 months. That way the mom can document you know everything that's going on with the baby so as you can see and like I said I'll put a better picture of it it's a very um, elegant bedding in my opinion it's got the pink and the gray of the little elephant and and the gray touches to it and it's not um, it's just a very pretty theme When I was looking for paper to order for this album, I came across this. This is Kaiser Crafts Pitter Patter, and they have both a girl collection and a boy collection. As soon as I saw this, I knew that this was the perfect collection because it's not a very, like, themed baby paper. It's more of an elegant baby paper, and that's what I got from that photo that I received as inspiration. Look how pretty these papers are. I know you can't really tell from this little sample, but they also have a few cutouts in this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? And so I, I ordered this from a cherry on top, and I also ordered some coordinating gray paper. This is by Basil, and it's called Date Swirl. And this to me was the perfect color combination that, that I, um, saw in that bedding. So let me just share with you what I did today. She also asked for a coordinating box to go with the album. So I made the box itself and this was my first time making a chipboard box. So happy with how it turned out. The box is eight and a half square by five inches tall and then um, probably five and a quarter with the lid. This here is a silhouette cutout with the little stork is also a silhouette cutout. So as you can see, I did make it to coordinate. Here is the inside of the box. Like I said, I'm so happy with how this turned out. She wanted this so the mom could have a place to hold keepsakes um, that, like I said, coordinated with the album. So I used some rosette trim to line the entire bottom. I finished off the inside of the box and then of course I tied in this gray as well so let me set that aside and show you the album here this album is a approximately a six by seven I do have a tutorial showing how I make my albums that I will put a link to in the description box below and look how chunky this album is on the side here I have some of this gorgeous gray trim. I have the beautiful flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, this is a silhouette cutout. I put some heart balloons that I popped up. I also used a little bit of Wink of Stella and I did put a layer of Mod Podge over this just so whoever's touching the album, um, this is, stays protected. Here's the back. I love this paper. I used tool to um, hold the album together. I thought it was just very girly. And it's very sturdy too, tool is. I used Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck Binding System. To me, that's by far the best system that works for me. I love it. And on the front here, I have a flip up that has a magnetic closure. Here it says, family where life begins and love never ends. And I did that in a soft gray to coordinate 
when you flip that up it's the information for the that the mom can add for the little girl her birth date time weight height hospital and doctor and then this first page is where the mom can put a newborn picture there's a little piece from the sticker collection that I put on there it says welcome little one and each page on the right is going to be for a photo so I didn't do too much to the right side of the page every single one has a pull-out tab that the mom can add more photos to so an album like this will hold a lot of photos so here is month one I did a bracket style pocket that I designed I put some um, white vintage white seam binding and added a sweetheart blossom here I have an Allie Edwards stamp that says so completely grateful and again this is reserved for the month one photo and in the pocket of month month one mom can also add a few more pictures if she wanted to and every single month has a mat that again mom can write down the stats of the baby and then any journaling um, I did that when my son was little and I'll tell you when I go back I completely forgot almost everything that I wrote down besides the, the huge milestones but all the little things you tend to forget so I was glad that I kept um, good journaling so that's why I think it's important to add journaling um, the mom can also journal on the back or add photos and then here's some cut aparts from the collection it says one month and then this one twinkle 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 little star do you know how loved you are I just love this paper collection to me this was the perfect collection month two I have some more of the sweetheart blossoms I also have some beautiful lace from wild orchid crafts I did a um, edge punch here I did this on the cameo I designed that it's a little hard to see and then when you pull this out again is the mat for the journaling here is a cut apart it says two months and then here's a little tag that I cut out from the paper collection added some seam binding the mom can again add more journaling or photos the third month I did a sort of bracket style kind of pocket I designed this as well I added a large rosette trim from Wild Orchid Crafts I cut out and popped up the word love from the paper collection and then again the mats these tags here say baby girl and three months Oh, I love this on page four I did a bow that I cut from the cameo another bracket style pocket this says four months this large cutout says cuddles kisses snuggles in love that is what baby girls are made of there's a little um, cut out that I put on here it's this little one month five this is a flourish that I printed out I also cut out a few hearts to give them the thickness of, of thick chipboard from the same paper collection and look at that paper is so pretty I love it and then in here it has the five months and I also added with a paper clip three little tags that say happy lucky and sweet For six months, I have a small um, eyelet scallop pocket here. I have some of the beautiful uh, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I did cut out a few leaves. Here's some sweetheart blossoms. These are some of the um, open roses in the 15 millimeter. And then here's some hip rose buds. the cut apart and then another tag similar to the first one this one has a bow with a pearl 
And all these pockets, the mom can add extra photos along with, of course, like I said, this mat. So a lot of photo opportunities here. On this side, I just have a little cluster. I have some of the tulips from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have a Cosmo Daisy here, a small bow and a little pearl. On seven months, I have some of the beautiful lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have a faceted button with a little crocheting twine in it, some of that gray paper. And then here's the cut apart. And then I also cut out a little baby bottle just for decoration. If the mom wants to journal, she can on it. Eight months, I used some um, a scallop pocket that I designed, some rhinestone trim, a little heart here with a pearl in the center. Here's the cut apart. This one says baby girl, perfect spot for journaling or a photo. And then on the right side here, I left this open so mom can slip the photo right under that. And here I have one of the Pink Mist Open Roses. I did take a few layers of it off. It's a little bit larger than that, but I wanted it a little bit smaller. I used a Sweetheart Blossom and some Ivory Hip Rose Buds. Just so dainty and pretty. On the nine month, I love this paper. This is actually the, manu the back of the manufacturer strip. So I wanted to save that and use that. I have a bow with a tiny open rose on the inside how gorgeous that paper is. Nine months. On this side I have some flat back pearls going all the way around. I have a few of or three of the Sweetheart Blossoms. Ten months I have another Ally Edwards stamp. It says gratitude equals happy heart. I put some of the um, liquid pearls here and for the mats, here is one. It says, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Here is for 11 months, I used some more of that pink rhinestone trim, I added a bow, and I added a rhinestone buckle with a pearl in the center. So beautiful. This is 11 months. This one I just did a regular pocket there. And on the last month I have a scallop pocket again that I designed. Some more of that gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. Some flat back pearls. These are from the sticker collection that comes with it. I added Precious Baby Girl. I cut out a heart from the center and added three of the tiny 10 millimeter open roses from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then of course the cutout. So that is my album. Let me just tell you this was so much fun to make and the reason to me it was so much fun to make partially was because of this gorgeous paper collection. I absolutely loved it and I had so much fun making the box to go with it and I really hope that the mom enjoys this. Um, there was a lot of love put into this so I hope you enjoyed it and the links for the products used will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.